let's check out what's on the front pages, shall we? And we shall begin with the, the daily guide, uh, the crusading guide, I should say. It's not the daily guide. Um, and the crusading guide this morning reports that government to absorb new plan limited into 1D1F, according to President Ikufuado. Agona East continues to get social, communities get social centers. And breaking the eight is a must, Dr. Tremanting says so. Fred Ofe confirmed as Shai Osudoku DCE. And Akufuado touts Alan's hard work before the Asante Hine. That's on the front page of the uh, Crusading Guide. Let's get to the Ghanaian Times this morning. And the Ghanaian Times says, Carnage on roads, 13 killed, 11 injured in ghastly accident at Konongu. Also, intensified fight against illegal mining, Yanam, and more MMDC nominees endorsed amidst fanfare. Takradi pregnant woman satisfies bail condition and also uh, six suspects grabbed over MP's attack at Anglon, Afia, Denigba. That is what is on the front page of the Ghanaian Times. The ABC News this morning reports that Akufuado rescues New Plan Limited through 1D1F initiative. Don't reject some pine. That's what President Akufuado is telling the folks at the KMA. I'm sure they'll be voting today or tomorrow. A Jura committee report credible as an editorial from the ABC News and household spending in Ghana to hit 104 billion Ghana cities in 2021, according to a report. You need to find it and get the full detail. The Chronicle is next. It says, Reverend uh, Revered Academics fight anti fawotu Beji bill in the name of human rights. And you know that there's been a back and forth, some accusations of uh, monetary inducement and funding uh, with what lawyer Kutuampo has shot down. But Akufado has also cut sword for 100 bed Obwasi trauma and accidental hospital and let Buzia be our inspiration. President Kufo uh, speaks there. Combat police avert bloodbath in Krobo. Well, the Daily Guide also says ex store boss settles with U.S. authorities and Pandora Papers expose African leaders. MPP flag bearer, I have no favorite, Akufuado assures, as he even mentions their Greek minister and the Honorable Alan Chairman Ting. Nana roots for some pine in the polls today. Well, so they are voting. I wish that he would get an endorsement. He's a very good man. Um, I have no favorite. And 13 killed in Gori Konondo, Konongo crash. That's on the front page of the Daily Guide. The Finder newspaper. Reject unconstitutional anti-LGBTQI plus bill, coalition of concerned citizens, struggling new plan to be absorbed into 1D1F initiative, President Kufuado, and 54,756 gays, bisexuals, others live in Ghana, and uh, also 18.1% are HIV positive and anti-LGBTQI law will worsen it. Well, President Akufuado cut sword for 55 million euros, 100 bed Abwasi uh, trauma and accident hospital, bust not ac accounting for usage of over 100 million that accrues from margins annually, according to Kojo Poku's Insta PR. And the Daily Graphic I have not endorsed anybody as my successor, President Akufuado. Group kicks against LGBTQ bill, over 100,000 companies to be delisted. 3,100 beginning October 2021. And Pokwasi Interchange has been burgled. Newly installed crash barrier stolen. Street lights removed. Uh, hmm. BNFT is our final one this morning. Port charges to be streamlined. Also, banks see deposits fluctuate over slow private sector recovery. Cocoa board to pay farmers with electronic cash from 2022. And Ghana Links pays three awards, picks three awards at the fourth Ghana Shippers Awards. Also, IFS hires Pardit uh, Anika Henworth Rostian as chief political analyst. Those are the front page details that we found this morning, and we thought we had to share that with you. My guest this morning, Elikam Kotoko, he is to my right. He is a member of the NDC's national communication team. Elikam, welcome. How are you doing? Uh, thank you, my brother. I'm Great. doing good. And Pius Enam Hajide is a former Deputy Minister uh, of Information and Sports. He's also uh, the boss now at NYA. Yes. yes. Pius, welcome. Thank How are you doing? Thank great, you, great, 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 great. How's the Tuesday morning going? It's going great. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, 
set up you have here this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we hope that we can share in the... Yes, in, yes, yes. Why not? You can share in it. Thank it's, you. It's Thank available you. For, for God's people. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Elikam, how are you doing too? I can't complain. You know, we're all reeling under the economic hardship, but we still are very optimistic. Yeah, so. manufacturing my consent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin uh, because I have, uh, I have a, we have an interest as a media house in something that broke on the 27th of September where 19 boys in the Kopi JHS um, have been sodomized by their social studies teacher, allegedly. Now, the difficulty is that the boys have not been able to get medical confirmation because they cannot afford the medical bills. And they say that they are particularly shocked that everybody else is quiet, apart from the MP and the DC who came to visit them or sent delegation to visit them. Yesterday, we also got information that the regional minister has said that they will foot the bill for them to be able to get the test. But since 27th of September, I'd like you first to listen to one of the victims who spoke bitterly about how the teacher who was well revered in the village, seen as a village pastor, SU president, yeah, I'm told he's a, an elder of a church as well. And all his colleague teachers are shocked that he could do that. Take a listen. He do it three times. He do it to me three times. He, he said, if I see it, he will beat me. And if he came, and I stopped going to him, if he came to class, he would give us Let's try that we, come, we cannot answer it. So if you know the easy to answer it, and he will beat you. As one of the boys. Now, let's hear Dr. Dennis Borte, who, uh, because tomorrow the, the medical examination will happen, and the police are saying that, well, until medical examination is done, they cannot charge the gentleman, even though they have intentions of charging him with unnatural carnal knowledge and one other offense. But that will be solely dependent on the medical examination. Dr. Dennis Borte is a very well-known and respected medical practitioner. Here are his views on the intention of the police to rely on that medical examination. I think that the evidence should just be limited to um, finalizing or getting a final medical report. Um, to, that will prove whether the incidences took place or not. But if months have elapsed, then chances are that a lot of these evidences will be gone. In the case of these children, therefore, the, if the sodomy is, as you, as you know, through the anal part or the rectal part, if it was in the early days, probably the way the doctor would examine their backside or their rectal examination would show some tenderness, some swelling, or something that would be of evidence that some traumatic thing has happened at the place. To say that they are going to rely on medical um, report in order to uh, um, adduce anything to it, I think is a little too little um, of an effort. If they decide to test their children for sexually transmitted infection, it's just to treat the person to make sure that the person doesn't get worse. But the presence of a sexually transmitted infection in a person, this is doesn't mean that he got it from, or he or she got it from the, um, the, the, the assailant, for that matter. The police should widen their investigations, not to just limit it to whether there's a sexually transmitted infection found in the case. In any case, if they don't find any sexually transmitted infection in the case, does it mean the event also didn't take place? And mind you, this assailant may not necessarily have a sexually transmitted disease. So if we don't find a sexually transmitted disease in any of the children, it also doesn't mean the thing did not take place. So I think that um, the police should widen their net in, in terms of evidence uh, to bring the corporate to book. Dr. Dennis Bottede, Elikam, let me begin the conversation with you. So 27th of September, this came to light, but chances that it happened many months ago is also very true. Now, this is the situation as it is. Tomorrow they are going to get tested. Can't see the, the minister. But what are your thoughts? 19 boys. Thank you so much, uh, Johnny. Good morning. Mm -hmm. And to my senior at my, the other end, uh, good morning. Mm -hmm. To our viewers too. First, uh, permit me to wish our teachers uh, well mm -hmm. as they celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, today is marked as uh, World, teachers, World day. teachers Day. 
I pray that uh, in earnest, much is done to alleviate the challenges that they are confronted with. Uh, Johnny, one of them is embarrassing them. Yes, uh, I, 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 I pray we'll come to that matter mm. because I raised some concerns on the show the last three weeks with Bella mm. on WIAC and all of that. Uh, you know, this story on, on, on the sodomy, mm. it's one that is very worrying and to everybody who is especially a parent, you, you, feel, you cringe at the hearing of this news because mm. uh, you then begin to ask, who then, in whose hands can we now entrust our kids? Mm. And don't forget that these 19 are the only ones that are probably officially known or that are bold enough to come forward. Mm. And uh, I do not know till when, before we as a country, must begin to take very stringent action on such matters. The question that begs to be answered mm -hmm. is where is our gender minister? I, I, I was watching you yesterday mm -hmm. and you, you were fuming, but it was justifiable. I think we are having too many square pegs in round holes and they don't want to even be told exactly what they are. Mm -hmm. Since that happened, I have not heard anything from Madam uh, Ajua Safo. Right. Well, I am told she has not even been reporting to work because she was angry the president directed her to recall Madam Beatrice Kwashiga, who she fired. She, she had, had a to, baby. Well, so maternal yeah, leave. For, for this long. Yeah. But you see, it is very worrying. I mean, if you look at the story and the, the ordeal these guys have gone through, mm -hmm. the time that has lapsed, and now it has to take the MP to want to <clears throat> go to their rescue, will there be enough evidence that would actually implicate the, the, the suspect mm -hmm. in this case? amongst other things. Who are the other possible victims? How many schools are also having some of these people? Mm -hmm. We need to really look at all these things very carefully. And I don't know why we as a people will want to now be calling some things human left, human right and center. Mm -hmm. That will be costing us so much. You know, the implication of this, even on our health budget, is mm -hmm. another matter that if we want to look into, will, be, will have its dire consequences. I think that authorities have lost on their duties. Mm -hmm. We do not even know who is working. Yesterday, you addressed many people in reference to this GES itself, too. So there's been some deafening silence that you do not even know who to hold responsible. And if, if people can be this irresponsible, mm -hmm. can be this inefficient, and care this less about our brothers and sisters in the schools, you can only imagine. And I'm sorry about to say that the decadence is just worrying. And it is in every facet of our systems. Mm. Where now, even if you critique, you are either called a propagandist, or you are an opposition, or you are a political opportunist. But these are the realities that are facing us in the face. And I, 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 it leaves much to be desired. Government can also not shirk its responsibility with reference to this. Because we expect that at the mention of such matters, there's a sector minister that mm. is responsible for that. There's a deputy that is actually even in her place if she's actually on maternity leave or what have you. And so there's absolutely no excuse for the deafening silence we are witnessing, even from that angle and from all other stakeholders. Parents are this time will be worried. I am a parent too. I have girls and I have, a boy, I have boys. So I do not know where else this is extended to, where it will happen tomorrow, mm -hmm. depending on how we tackle it. That is what will even deter perpetrators the next time. But if the laxity with which we approach it is, 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 is more or less like welcoming. But people may even feel emboldened and encouraged to want to continue visiting such atrocity on innocent kids in school that have been entrusted in their cares in school. And I think that it's a shame that the various stakeholders have kept mute, that it will have to even take a mini, an, an MP, an MP yeah. to, be, MP to get to the arrest. And yeah. don't forget, that is the reason why we need to really look at some of our laws. Mm. Because the major concern, if you listen to the parents, was that they could not even afford the bill That's in right. terms of uh, going for the test. That's right. Now time has elapsed. What is going to be the case? Should the doctor do the examination and say, look, uh, because it's past a That's week or two. That's what Dr. Botte is saying. Yes. You may not find anything. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have anything. And this, this person will be let off the hook. And it may not perpetrate it there again, but another time you will be surprised we will be sitting here again discussing similar events by same person or another person. Are you surprised that and the teacher unions are quiet? Because this is a social studies teacher supposed to be teaching the children how to live in society. You know, there has been one culture we have embedded ourselves in lately, which is not helping. Which is? Where people say, oh, he's one of us. 
And so when someone is even doing something bad, there are sometimes you see people shy away from condemning that act because they feel, oh, it's one of us. Since we cannot condemn him, let's rather stay mute. And that is very worrying. I don't want to propose or suggest that is it, but that is what it is looking like if they are also very quiet on this matter. We've had instances. I have spoken to a lady friend in, in, a, in a car mm -hmm. about President Leonardo's failures and the promises and all of that. What she told me point blank was that, oh, in three, she said, and I have a friend who is, maybe he's watching. He's, he's, he's someone who I, I buy stuff from my Volvo mechanic. He told me that so that that kind of entitlement that the fellow is one of us and for which reason we should just allow for the moment it's not it's, it's not going to help us i hear you it is our moral fiber that is decaying mm. the the health implication on our health budget is there and and society at large we ought to and you see this is why some of these things happen and if care is not taken and all various stakeholders that we look up to do not act People from back, the background may just take the law into their own hands and do something else. They may go after this gentleman yeah. and will say it against the law. But you not acting was equally also In fact, that was what they wanted to do. Uh, the, the community wanted to lynch the gentleman until the teachers, the educational authorities in there went, went to, to report rescue. to the police and oh. the police put him in their custody to keep him safe. So that was the situation there. But Pius, what is your own thought about this one? I mean... And the views have been expressed that, look, may it not happen, perish the thoughts, but if it had been just one woman, one girl, the whole nation would be talking. The gender ministry of our issued a statement. GES would have issued a statement. Um, any other person, I mean, you would find people on social media, activists, talking about it and asking all of us to, yeah. to speak. But 19 boys, and their accounts are so chilling, and it looks like everybody is quiet. Well, thank you very much, Johnny. Good morning to you, uh, my colleague, and to the cherished viewers of uh, TV3 New Day. Mm. Um, I think that from the outset, uh, my attitude is that this is uh, quite scandalizing, and uh, the allegations are so serious. Uh, the investigations have resumed, as we are made to understand, mm. as a part of the process there has to be medical examination right. to be able to establish uh, to at least a certain scientific degree uh, that indeed the allegations of these 19 uh, young persons of unnatural canal knowledge mm -hmm. uh, can be true or not. Uh, I do not want to sound too judgmental, but I'm at a loss as to how 19 young persons will all conspire to tell a lie about mm. an individual. Mm. I do not see the motivation that could possibly move 19 persons, not one, not two, to want to fabricate a story and to spread that about a person. However, I am minded that uh, interesting, interesting things are happening uh, in, in these times. Not too long ago, mm. we had reports of a woman mm. uh, claiming to have been abducted, a pregnant woman mm. claiming to mm. have been abducted, mm. and uh, we were all very worried about it. Mm -hmm. It turns out that it was a, a big scam and a hoax. And so even though I am tempted to want to believe the story at its, as it is allegedly being told, mm. I'm also being cautious and allowing for the investigations to unravel. Policeman slept with a suspect and freed her. Uh, an Anglican priest kissed, kissed three of his students. And there was another one I've forgotten. So interesting things are indeed happening in our country. So we have to be quite circumspect mm. and not to jump the gun and wait for the proper termination of the investigations. I think that one of the serious matters that we have to interrogate this morning mm -hmm is how we enable our legislation. It is true that there are laws in this country mm. that ordinarily make tests for such crimes like rape, defilement, and so, so on, domain. free, sodomy, and so mm. on, free. But they have not been properly operationalized. And this mm. is historical. These laws were not passed in 2016 or 2017. Mm. So it is, it is a matter that I would rather 
especially we the politicians. Unless we are not aware of our history, we do not attempt any uh, center of politicization mm -hmm. because it is a matter that the main political parties in our country, the NDC and the MPP, are guilty of. Mm -hmm. The laws have been on our books for a long time. The ways to operationalize the laws, those are the gaps we need to talk about. And so when I hear uh, my younger brother go all out with the political swords drawn, mm -hmm. I am not too sure what the intention ought to be. And I am also at a loss as to uh, all this claim about the minister not reporting to work. Uh, Where is the minister? And I think, I think, I think that, uh, honestly speaking, mm. it, it takes away from the serious import of the critical matter that we have but to discuss. But where is the minister? My understanding is that the minister is at work. Okay, so to, and, since and so, 27th of, of September, when we broke this story, 27, 28, 29, 30th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th October, no... It, and I'm saying if it, if it had been just one girl, we would have... Well, it's extremely heard. speculative. Yes, I, I'm but not, I'm saying I'm not that... able to tell what would have happened okay. this eves and speculations. Well, but at least I, I we, have, we have read that a oh, teacher attempts to defile a girl and everybody is on the teacher. Everybody is everywhere, which is a good thing for me. But 19 boys, the silence for me... Well, Johnny, that is not even a culture. Deafening. That's not even a culture that I personally encourage. Mm. This thing about jumping the gun, issuing statements... The processes must terminate, they must conclude. Mm. And so allegations have been made. So what if tomorrow somebody uh, makes the allegation that uh, Mr. Elikem Eli Kotoko entered his house and, take, and took his thing without his consent, stealing, mm. then the Minister for Interior has to issue a statement, he has to talk, I'm, I'm and so on. I'm looking at so psychological saying, support well, for the 19 months. But boys. I'm saying that. So far, we don't have any evidence speaking to the family, myself, and the assemblyman, so far. No psychological support for the boys. And you heard one of them, that the teacher did it to him three times. No psychological support. Yeah, that, for me, is a, is a big but, concern. But, Johnny, there's, there's, been rich, there's been a lot of reaching out. You spoke, for instance, that the DCE has reached it's, it's out. It's the, 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 the MP for the area. You, you mentioned DCE as well. You yes, mentioned yes, the, the DCE's delegation. The MP, right. and then you mentioned the regional minister. So some reaching out is happening. Psychological so, support, that's what I'm asking so, for. So I, I, I'm saying that some reaching, that's what the psychological support you are asking about, the reaching out. No, I'm asking for counseling for the boys. Counseling. No, but, but, but Johnny, that's why I'm saying that this is a process that is unraveling. It's, it is unveiling mm -hmm. before us. It's playing out. Tomorrow we are told they will go and conduct the test. Okay? So perish the thought, but what happens if uh, the investigations prove that uh, there, there has not been any such thing and that this was just like we, we saw in Takradi, mm. it was a hoax. That's what the so doctor I'm is saying, saying, that the delay, well, but that, the we, delay could but cause we, that. We dealt, we dealt with that. Mm. We dealt with that. The parents of the, the 19 children claim that they were unable to afford. I'm saying that the processes to be able to facilitate that, we should now take a progressive uh, interest in and mm. make sure that we remove those barriers. Mm -hmm. There's no disagreement on that part. Right. So now, finally, tomorrow, the regional minister can't get to see. No, it's the MP. The I'm regional minister. Haji Azura, I beg you. Uh, it's, well, it's that's the, what you read. So it's uh, the, the MP for the area, Salaga South, Haji Azura Ibrahim. She said that she would go on and, and, and do this, and she had asked that the people should not stigmatize the children. Well, okay, whoever is paying for it, somebody has reached out. Uh, initially, my, my reading was that it was the regional minister who had stepped in mm. uh, to do that. But nonetheless, this will happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that let us allow the processes to happen. The children definitely will need all the support that they can get, psychological, counseling, and all the relevant players mm -hmm. who can, including non-governmental organizations, state actors and non-state actors, everybody who can do something to be able to uh, mitigate the psychological impact of, of these children, uh, we have to encourage them to do that. Whilst at the same time, we are cautious and guard against stigmatization. Mm. And, and, and that's why we have to be quite circumspect in our uh, 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 commentary mm. on the matter. Mm. I'm surprised, however, that uh, uh, Elikam uh, wants to describe a, a, a certain situation that uh, he describes as uh, moral decadence. Mm. And, Why? Why are you surprised? And, 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 and creates the impression that mm -hmm. it is 
uh, development of recent, I, I, I beg to differ. We do have a challenge with moral decadence, okay. but again, it is historical. Mm -hmm. Many people is it acceptable? It. it is not. Okay. But I'm saying that when you want to solve the problem, mm -hmm. you don't begin by politicizing it and bringing in President Akufuado, his uh, so-called failings, and somebody says, I mean, we cannot even verify that. You see that clearly it is petty politicking for me. And mm. I'm saying that it takes away from the seriousness of the matters under consideration. Okay. And I hope that when we come up to discuss topics of this grave and serious nature, we can put our NDC MPP attire on the side mm. and discuss these matters as Ghanaians who are interested in the forward movement of this part don't, don't you of, think of that, this country. Don't you think that the lapse in time may have given Elikem and people who may be thinking along his lines that impetus to be asking those questions and to be making no, those suggestions? unless those people are ignorant of the fact that mm. the enabling processes to actualize the law was not worked on even under their own work. Okay, that's one, that's, so, that's so, one so, leg so of the be self, So you'll be okay. self-indicting mm. if you now turn around to argue that way. Okay. Because if you had set out the processes mm -hmm. and you have governed this country much, 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 much more than other political parties, okay? Mm. So if you had done those things that ought to have been done, then maybe we would not have been where we are. But I'm saying that that, for me, even is not an excuse. Okay. The excuse is to look at this as a wake-up call. Mm. Or the main, the main deal for me is to look at this as a wake-up call to see about how we can put these mechanisms in place quickly. Okay. But want to, just want to apportion blames and be politicking about it. Mm. Then I, I'm, I'm asking myself, Elikam's party, the NDC that he's representing and arguing for, mm -hmm. Why did they not put in these processes in their time? But you also, have had, that you also have had an opportunity. Why did they exactly that's what I'm okay. saying. That we need to now deal with the okay. whys and then impress upon the fact that these things have to be done. Okay. Why? It is true that when the NDC was power, mm. children were being sodomized. And I can give him, I, I remember some examples. I'm a, the son of two e teachers. E equalization now. And so that's why I'm saying that mm. we have to move away from okay. the politicization. And, and, I'm asking, and, and I'm asking a simple question. I'm saying that perhaps they. The silence and the lapse in time, because now the doctor fears that because of the lapse in time, we may not find any evidence because uh, traces of semen, aberrations, trauma to the area and all of that may not be present. That's what the doctor is saying. And he is somebody who has done those tests over, right. over time. So he says it. Now, again, I'm asking for psychological support for them, particularly because we know how, what the structure of the GES looks like. And you have thought before. There's a, a metro, sub-metro, there's a region, there's a district, all of them. Up until now, we have not had any of them moving, even though it was their job to make sure that the teacher is monitored and this will help teaching and learning. Now, the teacher who is supposed to teach them how to live properly in society is the one who has been alleged to have sodomized them. And the authorities who are supposed to, who are supposed to have taken the teacher to the school have not breathed a word. That's worrying. That's what I'm talking about. Johnny, I am entirely in alignment with you. But let's not also think that, and this is, I agree with the doctor, that we should not give the police the excuse that uh, it is only the medical examination mm -hmm. that can establish a case before a competent court of jurisdiction. Right. Because we may not even be too sure when the last acts were uh, uh, committed. That's right. One of the children I had said, we have done this three times. So the thing has been going on. We are not too sure even when the last one occurred. Okay, but here we have students. There should be enough uh, circumstantial evidence mm. even in their own testimonies and to be able to establish a strong case. So uh, I still want to support the move to have medical examination. Mm -hmm. It can do many things, including finding out if the children have some STDs and STIs okay, right. and so on. But beyond that, mm -hmm. the police should be able to go to the I, bottom I get, of I, this matter. I, I get that angle. Yeah. My question to you was that the supervising authority of the teachers have not spoken a word. The teacher unions have not spoken a word. But Johnny, what would <laughs> they have said? They would have said that we take note of this, we want the investigations completed, and when uh, it indeed turns out to be true, 
uh, the laws of the land would work. That's all. If I were in their shoes, that's what I would say. I hear you. Because the matter is under investigation. I hear you. Unless you want us to put the cart before the horse. I hear you. Elika, if I give you one minute, I have yeah. to give Pius one minute. I, I want us to discuss you know, new plan. My, my senior used, if he, for the viewers, he, he used to hold my hand sometimes to school. I see. Well, <laughs> but I think until he joined the NPP, he's not been consistent. Oh. I am surprised. Mm. I am very surprised mm. that he will sit here, even as an appointee, telling you and I and our viewers that it was not needed for us to talk about the sector minister. Whose presence or who, whose presence needs to be felt in this matter? No. Where you think that talking about her, <laughs> she has been silent since. At this point, you are able to even tell that we expect the police to go through and do what have you. But you are not expecting that the gender minister should be acting? No. That you, you're not in the business of uh, quickly rushing to issue statements. It's not a business of trying to rush to issue statements. It's about doing what is right. It now confirms why when the Takradi girls got missing, mm -hmm. President Anadu refused to comment on that and demonstrate that level of insensitivity. <laughs> that is exactly what he has just told you and I here. He is not in the business of quickly rushing to want to. So that is something. And you see, it again will, re if you want to avert our minds back to the Ayala so incidents when my brother again also came to say there was no need for uh, a committee to be set up, only for the U-10 to be made. See, consistency is very key and you must actually always adhere to that. I am surprised that there's been a case of sodomy mm -hmm. against 19 children. Allegedly. Let's, let's, my yes, hold on, I was coming to that. Let's <laughs> even say, that was what I was coming to. Let's even say it is not true. Let's even say it's not true, it was mm -hmm. false. Let's assume. And you think the gender minister's silence is, is, is something to be proud of? What would you recommend, if she says? Please. We expect, you see, Johnny mentioned that they need psychological uh, uh, support. Uh, uh, support. Mm -hmm. They need all the various support. And that's what the speech will do? And no, we expect her to even put out a release <laughs> and even give out guidelines that, look, as a ministry responsible for this, mm. we will take uh, these A, B, C actions in order to ensure A, B, C, D. That is what a responsible minister will do. And if you are here defending her deafening silence, then I am scandalized. Because I am sorry but to say that not only is she a square peg in a round hole, but you oh, are but aiding that, her that, as that's, well. That's not fair to her. <laughs> because Pius <laughs> says the, the minister <laughs> goes to work. Contrary uh, well, to what you said no, earlier. No, that is what just he, he has said. I am told on authority that she has not been <laughs> reporting to work. But that not even withstanding. The reason I'm saying that is that even if she is not, or she is, if she is going to work, that even indicts her more. Johnny. Because why has she been silent all this while? Okay, thank what you. What is her responsibility then? Fire, Johnny. take your one minute and then let's switch. Yeah, I want us to talk uh, about uh, new plans. There, 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 are, there, there are striking differences between the NDC and the MPP. Oh, this is now I become an NDC and MPP. Absolutely. Matter. Because that's, that's what the, I've The tried children to, have been sodomized. That's what I try to uh, guard against. Mm. Look, Johnny, we don't run a talkative administration. Mm. We take substantive action. What the people of Ghana want to see mm -hmm. is that work is happening on the ground. Sky train. Not, not running of mouth and pouring of hot air and issuance of statements in the middle of substantive work. Okay. So the call has, in fact, you're saying that for the police to now do their work, mm -hmm. A minister in the sector has to now instruct them. The no, police no, know. No, no, absolutely. No, so, 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 no, but the police that <laughs> ordinarily, the police does not need what, what to is, be told. What is the work of the minister? Gender, children, and social <laughs> the, protection. The minister's work is to formulate policy okay. towards the establishment of a safe, mm. conducive environment for 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 children to grow up mm. to be responsible adults and so on and so forth. And, and I'm one saying of that, that has been breached. But I'm saying that the substantive work, the substantive work is what is happening, is what we are focusing on. As we speak, there is legislation that we are shepherding that is protecting so children she can and talk youth. On that. Okay. But I'm saying that you are okay. talk, because so, you are a talkative so, party, so you are a talkative propagandist mm -hmm. government. Your approach is to begin talking, but talking, fire, talking. Fire. We are focused. Where, were you, are you the one shepherding the law in parliament that is? Uh, uh, making some of the little minor offenses which under you people were put in prison for. Now we are doing community se uh, uh, service and so on. Uh, co we are moving away from custodial to community let service, which are more informative and all that. Mm -hmm. These are the substantive works that we are talking about. Pious, not talkative, propagandist. Uh, 
your, your one minute is finished, though, but let me, let me make you a boy now and ask you, for example, a scenario if you were sodomized and 19 of you were sodomized. Your parents are traumatized. You are traumatized. The whole community is traumatized. And the minister who is responsible for the sector under which you fall has not paid a visit to the community to commiserate. The MP has done that. The DC has done oh, that. Man. <laughs> that the minister has not gone there. If you were in their shoes, how would you feel? If the minister even came, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't even know. You wouldn't know? I wouldn't know. They, see, they know that the MP and the, and the DC has been Johnny, there. I'm saying that we are turning ourselves into a country of ceremonies. Okay. And we are uh, e e escalating the trivialities. No. Okay. So even if it's an accident, we shall not fix the road. So let a gory accident happen. Mm. And let a, a, a del government delegation come and pick at sea course and let them use flooring. So, so in future, if a girl, culture, so in future if, that's the culture we are encouraging. So in future, if a girl is defiled and the minister goes there, means that the minister I'm, was penalizing. No, but I'm saying that. Like a queer mm. dentist was beating, the old one was beating. Yes. And uh, uh, what do you call it? Miss Morrison went all the way to the top. I have seen Otiko Jabba go on trips of that nature. Even talk about I told so, you. so 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 there are many there are many many other persons. So they were trivializing who, it. No, John, John, don't do that. There are <laughs> no. many many other persons who may have been assaulted, beaten, that the minister did not go. Okay, but I'm, many, saying, but I'm saying in those cases where the make, minister went, we cannot make they a culture. Not it, not it, we cannot make we them. cannot make a culture of not paying attention to the substantive word. Okay. And then doing these follow up I'm, I'm, service I'm, I'm ceremonial using, I'm appearances. Using, I'm using your and own so for me, I'm using your own principle. For me, I'm using your own principle. For me, your, now your am. principle is that you are not a talkative government. You are not a minister, a, a government interested in just issuing statements. You want holistic work to be done, correct? Now I'm saying that there have been instances where our ministers for gender, children, social well, those protection are isolated have visited. Those so, are not, so were they trivializing those, those no, situations? Those, I'm saying that there definitely would be instances where some of these ceremonial uh, visits become meaningful, no doubt. But I'm saying that let's not turn it into a culture. For 19 boys. I'm saying that let's not turn it. You, are, you may be establishing that this is one of the instances that there's the need to. That is what you, you mean, see you are, the need. That's what you, you are, see you are, the you are, need. You are I, personally, I don't. OK, all right. Personally, I don't. I it's feel okay. that if I were, unfortunately, regrettably, one of the kids mm. who was uh, allegedly sodomized, right. what I would be looking for is how is it that next time when somebody else is sodomized, the person is able to get the necessary medical help he, he or she needs in mm -hmm. time. How can we prevent this from happening? Do we have to do some uh, 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 counseling for the teachers I hear you. and so on and so forth? Okay. If I were in their shoes, mm. I would be focusing on how do we prevent this going forward and not merely waiting to shake the hand of a minister. I hear you. Not Thank you. Thank you. you need. Thank you very much. Um, well, let's take, uh, we have about five minutes, so let's take uh, a look at this one. President Okufuado yesterday uh, said that the government has taken the decision to absorb New Plan Ghana Limited into its flagship 1D1F uh, initiative in order to help resuscitate the company, which has been on the decline for some time. This follows a request made to the president by the member of parliament for Bantama, Francis Asen Subwachi, who is also the minister for work and, uh, and the managing director of New Plan Ghana, Mr. George Nessa, for the intervention by government to save the company from imminent collapse. It was set up in 1974 uh, under the Kutua Champong government. So this is an avenue that creates jobs um, for many, many Ghanaians. I remember that they had gone on strike sometime last year yeah. and when the company had decided to fold up. And then I remember that Honorable Carlos Ahenkra was sent there in January of 2020 or so to go and assure them that government was going to absorb it. We are in September 2021, and we are still being told about absorption. You know, John, you, you took the wind out of my sail, and, and exactly just what I was going to reference, that you see when you say we are not a government of lip service talkative, you see how it's coming back to bite them. These. It appears that President Donado, when he embarks on these tours mm. and uh, has nothing to offer or to point to, then he begins to either rehash uh, the very things that were told in times past that we're expecting action to have been in place by now that will be visible enough for you and I to see and say, oh, two years ago, this was what government appointee A said and this was what <laughs> they are doing. Mm. But that is not the case. Mind you, 
no plan uh, provides jobs for citizens of this mm. country. No plan is supposed to actually be seen as an integral part of the Ghanaian industry mm. because uh, the sector it provides services to is very crucial, the transport se sector. And we've had the likes of Safo Kantanka also trying to do what they're doing. And their assembling also helps. Mm. I mean, for the longest time, we've known the work of Noplan, the buses we see and all of that. But here we are today again. It seems we are back to square one. How do you because say that? Because if uh, colors are in crowd at the time, give that wording mm. that we're going to absorb them, we're going to solve the problems, we're going to do this. So what exactly has been done so far? Nothing. But then the president on a tour, then let's say promise them something again that we'll do this. And then that may alleviate or that may water down the anxiety and all what have you. Because if help is extended to them, it is good news. It is what we expect. Because that is Ghana that is benefiting in the end. And mm -hmm. those are Ghanaians going to be having smiles on their face. But when it becomes just mere rhetoric, mm -hmm. then it is very worrying. Especially that we can outline a plethora of instances mm -hmm. where the executive itself, including its head, the deputy or the vice, have all said one or two things, one many times, and they have not fulfilled them. Uh, really? Uh, yes. Uh, do you want me to list some of them for you? <laughs> because you, I, I just <coughs> did mention even to you that we're told that by August 2020, we're supposed to be expecting the first SkyTrain. Mm -hmm. As we speak today, we are in October, and nothing of that sort has happened. You recall the same vice president <laughs> who also went somewhere tell, tell in the church, mm -hmm. telling Ghanaians that uh, uh, they, don't, they would be roads were going to be constructed using concrete. Right. That has never happened. Concrete roads. And that is the extent to which he can even do it and disrespect we're our We're courage. waiting for Sino Hydro, then the roads will come. Uh, what has happened to that? Was that not a fluke in the end? Is that what it's looking like? like? It's looking like a fluke. How do you conclude when the president has not completed his tenure? You see, it's only in the second term, the first year of his second term. You know, in allow the, the <laughs> allow the person to in the local parlance, there's a saying that agrobesa if you're not and obviously, we have seen for ourselves now what West President Anadu and his appointees put out and what exactly the work on the ground is they are doing. You know, yesterday when he was at the Inashanti region, I listened to one of his speeches where he said, uh, uh, this government has done more roads than any other and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't mention a single road. Then he quickly jumped to uh, one district, one factory. And, and, and you know, so, so now it, the, the new promise to your plan is that they're going to be put under 1D1F. That's which, definite. Which, which should that's, that's a definite, yes, you know, more, more, uh, if you like, more pointed than what Mr. Hinkra gave that government will support, which is why it is welcome news. Mm. But you see, the longer it is taking, is what is making you and I to even realize that this is also looking like another fluke. Mm. How are we supposed to believe this? How, what, 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 what steps are you going to take to make us believe that? Ghanaian as myself, I am. I expect that this happens. Because, like I said, it's going to put food on the table of many people. It's going to provide jobs for so many people. So we expect that to happen. But where it becomes lip service, mm -hmm. where because the president is on another tour, so let's find some other thing to tell them wherever he finds himself. No. But we expect that, okay, <coughs> walk the talk. Indeed, let us hope that maybe in the next... The, the managing director, for example, for New Plan has made a direct request that, look, let Metro Mass start buying their buses from us. Good. So that it will give us business to be so, able to so run. You, so you, because under <coughs> President Kufour, that was what was What's done. Happening? So let's stop ordering from outside. Let them buy from us so that we can get money. That is why I'm telling you that it is not a matter of lip service of trying <laughs> to say that, oh, we'll do this, we'll do that, and you are not doing it. And just as you said... If Kalons Ahinkra gave some assurances in the past, what has been the case from that time till now? Okay. What we expect is that, look, if this is put, if no plan is put back on its feet, mm -hmm. it is to the benefit of Ghanaians most than any other. And therefore, we expect that this should be done. Not that it is said that it will be done, and in the end, we'll be going around it and finding faults or excuses why we failed, or be citing COVID or another mm -hmm. reason or the other for not being able to execute what we expect of you. I hear you. Well, so I'm reading the uh, publication on the 27th from, from the 27th of January 2020. It's yeah, on PCFM Online. I'll, 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 I'll give you. I'll give you a chance. Uh, it says government won't watch new plan to fold. Carlos Ahinkra. That's what he says. He's the deputy minister. He's assuring deputy minister for trade and industry. Carlos 
Kinsley Ahinkra has assured that government will not watch New Plan Ghana Limited to close down as has been announced by management. An internal memo from New Plan Ghana Limited dated the 15th of January 2020 indicates that the company would officially close down all its branches on the 31st of January 2020. The closure is largely due to the lack of support and contracts from the government, which is the majority shareholder, as well as recurring monthly losses. And Carlos says government will not sit and watch New Plan Ghana Limited staff go home. He said, uh, and that, now the new plan Li Bus Limited was set up in 1974, as I told you already. In 2002, President Kufo's government contracted New Plan Ghana Limited to build 450 uh, DAF VDL buses for Metro Mass Transit, which you see on the streets. And this contract ended in July 2010. And New Plan Ghana Limited has since not gotten any contracts from successive governments. All the requests of the closure, all employment contracts with New Plan Ghana Limited will be terminated by the 31st of January. 2020. That was the uh, threat at the time. Uh, Carlos Ayinkra stepped in. I think they have been, uh, if you like, functional, but not like they were buoyant back in the day. Now that promise is being made again. <laughs> so in between when Carlos Ayinkra spoke, when the agitations were on, the management said we'll shut down. And now, run us through, because Elikem is doubtful. <laughs> what has happened in between that time? Jody, you saw how my brother was struggling. Mm. Again, it is uh, excessive partisanship uh, that will drive you into your own ditch. Mm. And, and I am here, I'm, I'm listening to my brother, I'm confused. Why? In one breath, they say, talk, talk. We want to hear you talk. When you talk, they say, don't talk, do. Don't talk, do. A moment ago, I was telling you that we, we are focused on the doing and not the talking. Now, they say, don't do the talk, talk. Then the minister talks. The president talks. It's a problem as well. So you find with the NDC, it's not mere you, talk, find, you find yourself <laughs> between the deep blue sea, OK, and, 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 and the devil himself. So you are not too sure where to traverse. But for me, you're very right what you read. Johnny, again. The NDC and the NPP, they are like night and day. <laughs> you read what Jay Kufo's MPP did with New Plan. Mm. The Metro Mass that was conceived and brought, mm. the contract that we had with New Plan was. You mean what? the OSA that was <laughs> changed and improved uh, to become MMT? Ah, I'm saying that the Metro Mass, the story that you read, right. those two robust New Plan buses, not the ones who were. The, the, that were imported under the NDC uh, from somewhere, mm. who, that were not even strong, that broke down regularly if you speak to the workers of Metro Mass. The problems of Metro Mass, the recent problems of Metro Mass, is traceable to the actions and inactions of the NDC after 2010. But some of the buses that President Kufour bought are still part when, of. When, I'm saying that when, the, when Kufour signed the deal with new plan mm -hmm. is so massive capital injection that's right when that contract expired the ndc chose to import buses to the extent that spare parts that even new plan could manufacture they imported those spare parts and 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 and, and they couldn't even afford to 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 pay and and so one of the countries i i have just escaped me austria or something had to blacklist us it's, got, it's been years of trying to revive new plan again under another MPP uh, regime. So when I listen, I'm, I'm at a loss. The people of Ghana remember, they know uh, I've, clearly. I've asked, I've asked you a simple so question. I'll come in, to your, in between January I'll come, I'll come to your question. and now. I'll, I'll come to your question, right. but I need to deal with some of the historical misrepresentations that were made. I'll answer that. Question first, then you no, can deal I'll, with him. No, I've arranged my thoughts okay, somewhere. Okay. Allow right, me to right, flow. So secondly, Johnny. You know the story of one district, one factory? Mm -hmm. 140 factories and counting have been established under the vision of the one district, one factory. The direct... All from scratch. Many of them from scratch. <laughs> Some of them had to be... New plan that we are talking about is not being birthed from scratch. But you know the situation of new plan. There were many, many factories in the position of new plan that have been revived. Mm. Daku Farms, for instance. As we speak, we have over one million beds. They watched it die. Mm. 
So I am saying that the story of the one district, one factory is that 140. Imagine, Johnny, that every four years, we were producing 140 factories in this country. Imagine what it would do to our economy. Over 150,000 jobs, directly or indirectly, one district, one factory. This is the president of a vision. Okay. He's not talkative propagandist president. Mm. He's delivering on the substantives. And so there's an argument that the deputy minister at the time says that we shall not allow new plan to die. Right. But did new plan die? No way. We did not allow new plan to die. So in between, what happened? So in between, mm. what happened was that, and you see, development is a process, not an event. Okay. And that is why I prefer to, even if I have to speak, I speak at the end of the day. Because when you communicate your vision, between the vision and its actualization, there's a long process. So you will not just get up one morning and decide that I am taking a, 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 a new plan under 1D1F without doing the necessary feasibilities. Without do so all of those will have to happen. And that was what was happening <laughs> during the, the over one year. Sometimes Between January 2020 and, and September 2021. For, for, for a major company like New Plan, mm. even one year, bearing in mind the limitations of COVID, I have said that this administration has worked at rocket speed. A company that you are a major shareholder? Yes. You had to take more than one year I'm saying that to revive even it. Even within the limitations of COVID, okay, mm. this government has worked at rocket speed within one year. For the MPP. Within eight years it's, of the NDC. It's more than one Within year, eight years of it, the NDC. It's more, it's what were they able to do? One year, what were they able to do with new plan? It's one year, eight months. I'm saying that assuming even two years, mm. at the end of the day, the hard work is bearing fruit. But that's why you call them incompetent. So don't compare yourself to incompetence. Yes, yeah, so the incompetence is that when we talk, we do. So don't compare and, yourself and, to incompetence. And, 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 and of course, I mean, that, I told you already that. But, that, but we are telling me that within eight years, they could be So don't compare yourself to incompetence. to him. Okay, I was responding to him. Okay. If the NDC had not governed this country before, if they had not mismanaged new plan, mm. if they had not brought doom, so if they had not laid workers off at uh, uh, new plan under their watch, okay, if they did not set new plan aside and went to import cheap buses, mm. and they were talking to me in the manner that you are talking, I would indulge them. Mm. But if you have an NDC that intentionally and deliberately mm. ran down new plan, did nothing about it. Mm. And they are the ones who are complaining that we took too much time be too, because we took but two years also in the to, last, to, to but, revive. But, but, but Papayas, you also in the last four years yes. also imported buses for MMT from outside. Correct. That's a fact. Correct. But, so but, you, you have to share the blame. No, no. I'm saying that. You saw a, New Plan and a, you went outside a, to bring buses. Because New Plan had been so run down that we have to re-establish and revamp it to be able to do what we are now confident that they will do. The injection that has to be put in mm. will definitely take time. Are, are you suggesting to me that when you came in 2017, whatever money you had to buy buses from outside, if you was had not given enough to, to, to new to, plan, they couldn't have revived it. was not enough. No, no, it you, was not. You, it you was had, not enough to revive. Okay. You had I, 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 our time is up. You had enough to give tax waivers to I, family and friends. Our time is up. Oh, up please, please. Up. Again, again, no, you see, again, see, petty politics. When, when you put your priorities Again, petty politics. And now when you, you are questioned, you, you when, want to when make Mr. Mahama, When Mr. Mahama was president, his brother was not even paying tax. Okay. I his brother you. was ready to pay tax. That is your assessment. Is that not good? Because it is true. It is true. Now that. That is true. It is true. No, that. That. That yes. Is total okay. false. All right. Yes. I hear you. Thank you. Pius and I'm Haji Dei. I'm so much the Deputy Minister for Information. This man wants to have an agreement with the GRA on deferred tax bill. What do you call it? The boss of the National Youth Authority. And Alec M. Kotoko is a member of the NDC's National Communications Team. Gentlemen, welcome and thank you very much indeed for your time. We're grateful. Well, so Niyama Ashongata is asking this. He says, please kindly ask them, especially Pius, that does he think that if it was an election year, election year, the minister would have kept mute. By this time, she would, together with other politicians, meet the families, made personal donations and even eating with them in the same bowl and taking pictures for the world to see. That's what Niyama Ashongata is saying. Ambassador Sampiali says, Johnny, I'm not surprised that there is absolutely absolute dead silence on this, this case of sodomy of the 19 children. I'm not surprised because there is a drive in Ghana to promote LGBTQ rights. So what will anybody speak 
And why will anybody speak against this? Tell Pius that it does not lie in his mouth to describe the whole political party as talkative's party. <laughs> Pius, be aware that the tongue is not, well, that's not rot. Everyone is watching him vividly. His memories were in his utterances in which it went NDC is in opposition. Well, he's, he's watching. <laughs> thank you. He's a good friend, but we disagree on many, many issues. I, I can imagine. Well, thank you.